Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to have for you guys a try on fitness activewear clothing haul. Starting with some shorts. So I only have like two pairs of leggings from Lululemon and the reason why is I love their leggings. I just find their prices really really high. Like I know sometimes I'll buy other leggings from stores on Instagram for like 70-80 bucks. I know that's really high. But I sometimes I feel like I'm getting a cute, cuter design and with Lululemon I feel like it's all material. Their designs are really cute but it's like almost $100 for a legging and um, the material is amazing and whatnot but I just, you know what, I, I like to mix it up. So I only have two pairs of Lululemons. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one of the newer pairs because the other pair that I have is kind of old. So the only two pairs that I have, the style is called the Align Legging pretty sure it's called the Align and I like the Align leggings those are the only ones that I really like to shell out for because they have a high waistband and Lululemon's fabric it totally lives up to the hype it is totally worth the money um the designs and colors you have a pretty decent selection to choose from I have kind of like a cobalt blue color and then I have this color right here which is a gray you guys could see it's just like a very true gray this is kind of an older pair of mine. I believe this was a size, this is a size 8 and I purchased this a while ago and the lady was like, you're so lucky because they never have this color in stock. So granted it is a really nice color, it does fit you in all the right spots. You could kind of see some of your body like, I think you'll probably be able to see just a little bit but I kind of feel like with really tight, skin tight, skin tight leggings, it's kind of hard not to like if you have some dimples, whirls, it's normal you know. So um, they are really good though. They feel like like you're naked, which I believe is a point of the aligns. So yeah, but I would say they're worth every penny. They are one of my favorite pairs of leggings when I want complete support. For example, like leg day. And then next things I got from them is actually from the outlet store. I feel very fortunate to have a Lululemon outlet here in the city of Vegas because even in LA, I don't know if I ever came across one. In San Diego, I don't think they have one, but they have a little lemon outlet here. These are just some shorts that they had in the sell section. Again, this is a size 8. If you guys are wondering, and they're just kind of like these um, army green color. They're kind of high-waisted. Um, they do fit pretty damn tight, and they kind of, how do I say it? They're not really short. They're not like booty shorts, so I think that you'd feel comfortable if you're someone who you're not trying to show a lot, then you probably would like these. They do have a little zipper in the back and it's like a hidden pocket. You could put your keys. I'm seeing here that they have a hidden thingy to make them a little bit tighter. For me, it wasn't necessary. They fit me just perfectly fine and I actually really like the design. That's kind of why I wanted to purchase them more than anything from the fact that they were at a good price. I believe I got these for around 30 to 40 dollars when originally they're like in the 70s so i was really happy with that and um yeah they are really comfortable and i like them a lot and then next thing from lululemon are these shorts and these still have the tag on them i haven't worn them yet so i'll give you guys the style these are called the booty short and these are kind of like um i would say volleyball shorts so they're these are more like booty short booty shorts so i do think they will be flattering on the figure but if you don't want too much showing out there, I probably wouldn't recommend it. I probably would just wear this like on a day where I'm not going to be doing too much leg work. I don't want too much popping out. But they are really cute and they are very flattering. They look really, really nice. And I like the pattern. It almost looks like a camo. And yeah, these are an 8 as well. These don't have a hidden pocket or anything. But I will say that these fit phenomenally. These are $34. And they're originally $48. So I guess the Lululemon's shorts aren't that crazy like the leggings. And then I got some shorts at Walmart. Wait, Target. And these are the Champion brand. These were like $15 and I thought they were so cute. I wanted to get more shorts because here in Vegas it gets a very warm 110 degrees 109 degrees almost on what's been like a day-to-day -day basis and sometimes when you just go outside i kid you not it feels like a sauna so i didn't want to wear something i wanted i still have leggings i'm still gonna wear leggings but i wanted to get other 
type of clothing like shorts when I want to feel super fresh so I got these these um they're champion brand at Target they were like 15 bucks I got them in a medium and they fit like really good actually they actually had other like colors and patterns they were just out of my size so I was lucky enough I believe to get at least the blue one which is my favorite and they're actually really really cute for $15 are you kidding me that's a great deal next I got a different type of short these are from Under Armour and I got these at the outlets here too they're peach so I just kind of had to because I really like like peach the peach color right now especially during summer I think it's really pretty and vibrant and you know obviously when you have cute gym clothes I feel like it's very motivating it helps you get to the gym in a more happier motivated mood at least for me that's what cute gym clothes does for me um they're not like booty shorts type these are i would consider these just like regular athletic wear shorts for women but they're so damn cute so i had to show them to you guys and pick them up and yeah if you have an under armor out in your butt, i would say check these out because they are very very pretty and i think these are good if you're kind of like starting to warm up to the idea of you wearing shorts because that's me and next i got some nike for you guys i got these two nike pro shorts and these i got out of the regular like um finish line that the apparel they had in there and i got both of these in a medium these are really tight they're the dry fit material i believe these are really popular they're like really tight so i would even say size up i would probably honestly sometimes even wear a large even if it fit me just a little loose like at the waist or wherever because on my thighs they're like tight they're tight as like you guys will probably see i am going to be trying all of these items on but i just really like the gray and the pink i thought it was a really pretty combination i thought it looked good and then i was lucky enough to find something kind of similar to it at the outlets this is a sports bra from them and I got this one at the outlets and the shorts separately. So they're honestly not the exact same shades, but it's close enough for me. And I believe the bra was like 15 to 10 bucks. I think it was like $20 or something at the outlets. Everything is discounted there. And I got the sports bra in a medium. And I actually am a really big fan of Nike sports bras. I feel like they do a really good job. They give you good padding. They give you good grip. Like they're some of the best sports bras I have tried. So definitely... Like, they're better than most of my Victoria's Secret bras. Even just plain ones like this, they're pretty good. Because sometimes, just plain ones like this, they have no padding. Or they have the cheapest padding. But the Nike ones, they're good. That's something I would definitely recommend. These were $32 at the outlet. And again, I got these in a medium. And they're just red with white. And then the black little elastic. I actually really like this color. And so far, I've only worn one pair of shorts but i'm pretty sure i'm going to be wearing more i'm a huge fan of d tina's leggings and d tina's store d tina's leggings is um an online like boutique website they do have a pretty popular instagram i'll go ahead and link it down below in case you guys are curious about any of these leggings and they do like the scrunch booty that is kind of popular i feel getting more and more popular which is kind of just basically a style that is flattering on your booty and what I love about them is that they have really fast shipping. The thing with a lot of these scrunch booty leggings is that they're either really, really expensive, like in the $80, $90, or the shipping takes a little bit longer, which I don't necessarily mind. But Detina's is pretty damn fast. I did an order with them, and they have really good customer service, which I'll talk about in a second too. I did an order with them where I bought basically all of their camel prints because I'm just... I just like how could you not like this camel print it's so cute in my opinion they came out with like four or five colors i purchased them all i was like ruben can i just i'm gonna do a purchase okay and they had a really good sell i think it was like 40 percent off like they were um celebrating the release of these with like 30 to 40 percent off so i got like a i want to say 70 to 80 dollar discount so for the all of these camel leggings for five pairs of leggings I paid under $300, which that's not bad because when you think about it, if you buy three pairs of Lululemons, that's easily going to be like over $300. And also, I had made another purchase from them before. I think I have a few of their leggings now. I have a good amount of their leggings. And the first time that I wore one of the leggings, they actually ripped on me, like in the butt area. The good thing is that I was home. 
So I emailed them and I explained to them what had happened, what had happened was, and they were actually really nice and I put in an order with them afterwards because I was like, okay, you know, they're taking care of the situation really good, they're gonna send me a new pair, so I am trusting in them to order again, like it wasn't, I understand things happen, so I was like, cool, I'm gonna order again, so I told them, hey, you know, I made an order if you wanna send that pair in with the order, and they went ahead and did that, they sent me a new pair, it was almost like no questions asked. I did send them a photo of the leggings that they ripped. They sent me a new pair and I've had really good experience with all of their leggings. I think it was just it was just a one-time thing, you know. Crossing my fingers. So first off, I got the regular army trooper leggings. And by the way, I am a small medium. With all of their leggings, all of these, these are kind of little, but I feel like once you put them on, they look different. Um, they, they stretch definitely. I'm ordering something that's customized so you could kind of like create your own leggings with them They give you a template you could pick the colors. So for it being customized I at least They get shipped out at least within a week and a half, which is pretty good And then second these I customized myself you could like I said you could customize them Which I think is really cool. Um, they have the option to do stripes and then you could pick the color black or white stripes and then you pick the color of the bottoms it doesn't even have to be black or white they have other options so i got this camo color which is it reminds me of vape and it's like a bluish purple like a blue they're blue camo and then i got them with the white stripes and with the white bottoms i will say if you're wearing white leggings to the gym they might get dirty it's happened to me i don't really mind though i just kind of go with the flow and wash them and again, I got these like in a small or a medium. They are kind of stretchy. I would say a small or medium. I believe they have it on their website. Just make sure in case I'm wrong. I believe if it's like a 4 to an 8. The sublux material is my favorite. These are sublux and they just feel really, really good. And they have the scrunch booty. I'm actually really excited about these. I love the white at the bottom. Even though you know they're probably going to get dirtier quicker than the other ones. I love the white. I think it's flattering. And then I got like a dark, almost neon green. And these are just basic, so they just are all the way towards the bottom. There's no mesh or anything on these, but I just really love the camo patterns. And then I got pink ones, which I'm really excited about. These are their pink ones. Like, how fucking cute. They have a little bit of purple in there with black. They fit nicely and comfortably. Lastly, I think these are my favorite from the camos, I think. These have mesh in the front. They look so badass. These are their black and white camo. This just makes me want to get more front mesh leggings from them. Because, like, look how, look how sick. All of this is mesh. And I think black would probably be the most flattering for me. Because I've got big thighs. But I just think it looks so nice. Actually, like, I'm obsessed right now with the front mesh. And then the back, all of them, I get them all scrunch. And then, um, this is like styles that have kind of been on their website. It's not the newest, but I really like these. These are just the same. They have the stripes towards the bottom. I got these with white and black. And then this is like um, a pattern that they have. I think it's called salt and pepper. And I got them basically the same exact thing, except in this mint color. This is actually the color that ripped on me, which is funny. Like this exact pattern. And I love these. I'm telling you, I love the white bottoms. I just think they... Almost make your legs look longer, they probably do. And I love the pattern of the green. So that is what I got for you guys from DTNES. Definitely check them out. They are, I would say, in the medium price range if we're talking legging prices. Leggings are not cheap nowadays. They usually have some type of sales going on. Um, so I would say really look into that. Try and get yourself a good discount code. And now let's move into some different leggings. I purchased myself quite a few leggings from Posh Knob Leggings. And recently they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me another, like a few more leggings. And obviously I was like, thank you guys so much. I'm so flattered. I would love to have more of your guys' awesome leggings. So they sent me three new colors. They sent me these navy blue ones and posh knob leggings is another like scrunch booty type of legging store they have different categories though they have like their chilling at home lounge leggings i believe those are like 30 dollars or 25 dollars then they have like their gym line which is like 60 to 50 dollars 50 to 60 dollars then they have another line which is like in the 40s so they have different price ranges in case you're curious about that these are their gym ones they're very thick so these I would 100% like be fine with at the gym. All of their leggings I'd be fine with at the gym. 
maybe not the chilling at home ones but all the other ones they're fine i don't find them honestly that see-through for how comfortable and naked they feel i wouldn't find them that see-through i will say these do feel like naked if that makes sense they feel like a second skin almost more than the align by lululemon um although those give you more support so I don't know if that's your thing or not, but I personally love it. I will say out of all of the leggings I've ever tried, the Poshnop leggings make my ass look the greatest. They stretch out as you wear them, just so you know. So if they come and they look, feel too tight or they look too tight, they will stretch out with time. That is one thing about Poshnop leggings. Um, I don't mind it. I think it's good. It means they just fit me better. But I don't know. That's something that you guys would be concerned with. And I probably just need to get like a roller for all the, the little lint, but that happens to like almost all my leggings. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, let me know down below in the comments. So this is like their denim blue color. And it's very pretty, very pretty. It goes with everything. And then lastly, I haven't even tried these. The, these are their at home chilling leggings. Like they're, I believe they call them the lounging leggings. Oh, they're thin, I see. But look at the color. Look at this color though. I don't, I probably would not wear these to the gym or maybe I would wear them if I'm just gonna do like cardio or something. I do think if you sweat in these, you're for sure will be able to see it. Not only because of the color, but because of how light they are. But um, I don't really sweat that much from my butt to be honest with you guys. So maybe like on a light walk or something. But these are definitely not intended for a workout. They do state that nice and clear. So just letting you guys know, the color is adorable though, and if you just want some leggings to make your butt look good, Posh Knob is for you. Yes, yeah, so these next leggings are from Bum Bum Bacana, and this is an online store as well. I actually, they had a glitch on their website. It was like a pair of leggings for like 75 cents, something crazy. So I ordered it, and Ruben was like, your, your order is gonna get canceled. So I DM'd them. This is me DMing them. And I was like, hey, I made an order, but I think it was glitching. Would you guys mind? You guys could still send it through. So they accepted it. I was really, really happy and excited. And um, their leggings are actually really, really like bomb. And I was already planning on ordering with them. I was actually waiting for a color to come back in stock. It's this peach color that I'll go ahead and show you guys since I'm on their Instagram now. This peach color right here. It's been out of stock for a while and I'm just stocking it because I love leggings like that. If I see a color I like, I can't stop thinking about it. But they did get back and stock their pink ones, so I was actually just gonna go purchase them and I saw the glitch and I was like, why not? So these are their pink leggings. I believe they consider all of these like a Brazilian, yeah. So it's sports were made in Brazil, so it's like Brazilian kind of push-up pants. So I would probably call these mid-rise. They're not super high-waisted, nor are they really, really low. They're just like a perfect mid-rise, and they are very flattering. I love the color. I love fun colors. I think you guys have seen that with what I've gotten. I love fun colors, so this definitely is something that um I was waiting for, and I'm really happy that I got. I love the pattern on it. They have like the little ripply effect. They do have other colors like red and gray and black. Pretty much anything you can think of. So give them a, a try if you're looking for new workout fun pants. They're really beautiful and they fit the body very nice and they're really good to work out into. So no complaints there. They also send me this pair. Thank you so much, by the way. Bum bum bacana. They sent me this pair which I have yet to wear. I was saving it for the video. And again, the material, it's going to hold you all together. It's not very, very thin. Nor is it like... Well, it is pretty thick, but it's not like crazy thick. You know what I mean? It's just a good amount of thick. It feels almost like a high compression type of material. And these look a little bit more high-waisted than the other ones. I will be trying them on for you guys. And they have pockets in the back. They have pockets on the butt. So cute. I really like stuff like this. I think it's cute. They do have other options though. So last online boutique of leggings, I got Abs to Fitness Apparel. Abs to Fitness Apparel, I believe, is very popular online, and they, they do have some really good leggings. I've bought in quite a few, like maybe like five to six pairs from them, and I don't have any complaints. They all are very nice. They hold you together really good. The Marylands are very high compression, so if you want something that's really gonna hold everything together and give you support 
in your workouts, the Marilyn's are for you. I did um, recently purchase another two pairs. I'll go ahead and show you guys these two right now. I will say, though, their shipping is really long. Like, it's... The first order I made with them, I ordered, like, four to five leggings. That took, I want to say, like, three weeks to ship. And when they got here, I was missing two pairs. And it's because those two pairs weren't ready. And up until maybe, like, a week and a half ago, I got one of those pairs that I was missing. I still haven't gotten the other one because their production for that color is slow right now. They do have really good customer service, so they've been in communication with me. They reply to all my emails. They're very more than helpful with me, so no complaints on that. They're all very sweet. Thank you actually to the Apps to Fitness Apparel for having a lot of patience with me because I'll, I'm annoying. If you could get a really good deal though, they do have like great deals like 40 sometimes. So almost 15% off, 50% off. Try and make a big order and just be aware. But they have great legs and really cute selections too. So styles and whatnot. I got these two leggings from them. This material, this pattern is kind of like the pattern that I got from DTNAS. But um, the trimming is different and then they're just all the way down. They just don't have a anything, you know, extra on them. But they are really cute just like that on themselves. They do have the scrunch booty as well. And the material is just like amazing. To have this like all over the pant, it just feels great. I like more of a thinner supplex material for some of my workouts. So I really, really like these. And then these core ones are fucking bomb. And in apps to fitness, I believe I get a medium for most of my stuff if you're ordering the maryland's order your correct size or order the one order one up size if you're ordering anything sub like suplex i would say you could order one down or like your small size so for example i got these in a medium look at how bright they are i love how bright they are i believe this is their coral bright color something like that and they're like a suplex material they do feel really really nice i got these in a medium and they do fit me like they don't fit me big it's just from like the stomach area like, area like the top area they just kind of hang a little bit i don't necessarily mind it like they give me wiggle room but i will probably now order from now on suplex a size down so apps to fitness bum bum bacana d tina's posh knob i know they're like little stores and you're like well it's like is the shipping gonna get here blah, blah blah i've been there but all of these stores i've had a really good experiences with them so check them out give them a try paxson so i don't even would this be considered sportswear i consider it sportswear i went to paxson because they always have good deals people sleep on paxson they have really good deals they had to buy one get two free in their clearance section so I went ahead and was browsing and I actually found these leggings from Kendall and Kylie. I think these are just kind of fashion leggings, but when you look at them, they kind of look like sport leggings, right? They have actually a really cute like pattern. I don't know if you guys could see it on the camera. I don't have leggings in this color. It's basically like a nude naked color and I feel like they could be versatile for me. Like I could wear them to the gym, but I could also wear them out, which I really, really like that because the material looks like you could work out in it. And it also looks like you could go out in it because of the color. So I like that a lot. Um, these were surprisingly on sale. And I got these in a small just because they looked roomy. Like they look pretty roomy and they, they seem pretty stretchy. So I'm excited to show you guys how they look. I actually am a pretty big fan of the Kendall Kylie clothing line. I have a few pieces from them and I like the pieces. So go to Paxson. Check them out. And then I got this bra from... Calvin Klein to be honest I probably wouldn't say this is gonna give you great support it's very 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 thin but I just thought it was cute and I was like well if I'm gonna wear a shirt on top of it or if I'm gonna wear it like at home to be cute or like if I'm gonna go out and I want to wear a bra underneath it why not to the club you know, it's cute. I like it. It has like the little fishnet. And then I got these Adidas leggings. These weren't part of a deal, but they were $35, which I don't think is crazy, especially for Adidas. And I mainly got them again because of the color. I just, how could you not? I also have some Adidas NMDs that I think would go perfect. They're actually, I believe, called like the salmon color. They would basically go perfect with these. So Ruben was like, you should get those because they would go perfect with your shoes. Him always thinking about shoes. I was like, you're right. So I went ahead and got these. I did get these, I believe in a medium. Yeah, in a medium. These don't, 
these look more like true to size in my opinion. But I just like them. I will say these waistbands sometimes. I wish they made them a little different. I kind of went crazy at the Victoria's Secret pink semi-annual sale. Their sales are like crazy good. I believe sports bras were $5. Like the most I paid for a sports bra here was $15 and I don't think it was part of the sale. Almost all these sports bras that I'm going to show you guys were $5. So please, girls, please, or boys, be on the lookout for the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. You will be getting, snatching some really, really good deals. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys because I got sports bras for days. So the first bra that I have, like, how cute. Out of all of the Victoria's Secret sports bra, this style is my favorite. I have a pink one, and this was the only one I could find in, like, the racks and whatnot. The pink one I'm obsessed with, I got it a while ago, so when I saw this one, I didn't even care about the color combination. I knew I wanted it because of how the sports bra is and the support it gives you. I will say, accentuates back fat because of, like, the straps and the color, and even, I would say, like, the material that it is. I got this one, which is basically um, kind of like a v-neck type of sports bra, so it's a little bit more on the feminine, you could say, sexy side since it has a v-neck. And the back is very, very strappy as well, right here. You guys see that detailing though? I just love the color, and I'm actually a really big fan of most of their sports bras, so I couldn't complain. By the way, I get almost all of my sports bras in a medium or a small. This one is really cute. Like, this is the type of sports bra that you don't really want to wear a shirt on top of. Look at the detailing. This is just so pretty. It has this detailing right here towards the bottom. And then the back is really like pretty and feminine too. Look at that. Ooh, looking like damn lingerie. And the front has a detailing, has a little opening right here. And it's like a navy blue color. I'm trying to figure out how this would be a sports bra because it looks a little insane. I'll show you guys the front. This is the front, but then the back. I'm really curious to see how this plays out when I put it on. Um, I don't have like, in my opinion, the greatest boobs. I My boobs are a little saggy. They're like medium size. To struggle sometimes to make them look good, I gotta have that push of that padding. These don't have padding on it, so this is probably something that I will wear after I get a job. No, I'm just kidding. This is something that I will probably wear with a t-shirt or something on top, but something still kind of low so you can see the design. What I do like about these, and I remember thinking this to myself, was that because it has the high neck, you'll still be able to see it if you wear like a tank top or if you wear like um like those t-shirts that are like v-necks and they're kind of baggy, you'll still be able to see the sports bra, the cuteness of it. So I like that about it. Then I got this gray one. This is really cute. I like this a lot. It has padding in it and then it just has the same little kind of mesh that they do, the striped mesh that they do in the back as support. They do have this down here, which the material on it feels great. As far as the straps, I think it's just to look cute, but it is pretty supportive. It's like a perwinkle. Is that the correct color? Sports bra, but I really like it because it just, it's just very like to the point, I feel, and the color is just gorgeous. It still has some mesh right here on the straps, but I prefer like the mesh up here. I just think you'll feel more safe, if you guys know what I mean. It does have padding, and I like that the bottom of it is very, very supportive. I wish you guys could feel the material. It's just a basic white sports bra. It has no padding in it, so just so you guys know. It does have, though, like a, a mesh underneath it to give you some type of protection. So I don't think you'll be able to see anything as far as color-wise, but you probably will be able to see your nipples just putting it out there. But again, if you wear something that is v-neck or like a t-shirt, even like a jacket, you could wear a jacket just on top, you'll still be able to get the cuteness of the sports bra. Or if you just don't care and you're confident with your boobies, then go for it. I got another version of that bra that I showed you guys just in this purple color, which is so cute. So cute. I need purple leggings. That I feel like pink sometimes, it's underrated. I know Victoria's Secret is like, not womanly, but grown. And pink is younger, I feel. But pink be having some sturdy, good athletic wear. This is a sports bra I got from there. And this, this has padding, which I appreciate. Some people don't like it. I appreciate it just because I don't, I'm not like a D. So I appreciate the extra padding. And what I love about them even more is that it's not going to come out when you wash them. Although you should try to avoid washing them in the washer, but I get lazy sometimes and I do it. And the bottom, again, these are really supportive. 
the back the straps on it it's pretty supported they still made it cute and gave you a little design back here but the bottom of it like the the strap on it all the straps on it are really really good out of all of these like i would feel the most comfortable wearing this without a shirt because of the fact that it's padded the fact that it doesn't have too much going on in the front the color is really cute and you know it's gonna support your boobs and you'll be able to work out in it just fine and that concludes this haul i really hope that you guys liked it let me know if you guys find th these type of videos helpful because they are i would love to do more for you guys if you guys want to see other try on hauls even if it's not gym clothes activewear just regular clothes you guys know i do them let me know down below if that's something you guys would like to continue seeing i'll go ahead and list all of these stores down below in the description as well as my sizes that i go for with these stores that concludes this video if you guys would like to see more please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later